Hi, my name is Alyssa Lair, and I'm currently the project manager for Purdue Space Program Spaceport America. Purdue University is well known for its prestigious engineering programs as well as its 27 astronaut alumni, including the first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong. Today, our team of 47 members is continuing the tradition of pursuing excellence in rocketry while pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Hi, my name is Nate and I'm the lead engineer. Hey, I'm Noah and I'm the structures lead. Hi, I'm Madeline and I'm the manufacturing lead. Hello, I'm Alexander Bowman and I'm the avionics lead. Hello, I'm John Carrington Warren, and I'm the recovery lead. Hey, I'm Ilya Sirianovsky. And I'm Clark Sweeney, and we're the prop leads. Hi, I'm Noah Heineke, and I'm the payload lead. I'm Akar Sahai, and I'm the aerodynamics subteam lead for PSPSA. Our team is one of seven in Purdue Space Program, the largest SEDS chapter in the country, and was created in fall of 21 to replace the old solid team that disbanded in 2020. Last year, our team was exclusively underclassmen with no prior experience in rocketry, and the feat of designing and building a rocket proved to be challenging. At last year's competition, we launched our very first rocket, Project Icarus. The name fit a little too well, unfortunately, as the rocket's motor shot through the top of the rocket, creating, in my opinion, one of the greatest real-life exploded assembly views I've ever seen. So this year's first order of business was giving Icarus a second chance to fly. After the successful launch of Icarus, we shifted our focus to this year's rocket, Project Prometheus. We created a new design for Prometheus to allow seamless subassembly integration. It has a four to six inch transition and a new fin motor mount. We machine and fabricate all of the team's rocket components and taking more of an SRAT approach this year, we laid up a fiberglass nose cone with an aluminum tip that performs to commercial standards. As the avionics lead, I am in charge of all the electrical components and deploying the parachutes for our rocket. I bought a STM32 flight computer and I've been programming it, I've been buying the sensors for it and soldering it all together. This way we can create our own flight computer which gives us much more flexibility over our rocket and when we deploy our parachutes. In recovery, we size and ignite black powder charges in order to do dual deployment of two parachutes to reduce our rocket to a safe landing speed. We are also working on an experimental air brake system for our next rocket in order to control our target apogee. We looked into the many off-the-shelf motors we have access to and landed on the M3000 by Loki Research, which produces 3,000 newtons of thrust for three and a half seconds and gets us to 10K. For next year's project, we're working with Zucco Propulsion Labs to create and test an SRAD ammonium perchlorate composite propellant. Our payload module meets the 8.8 pound requirements within 10 by 10 by 30 centimeters and we will use it to test Alex's SRAD flight computer. The aerodynamics subteam is brand new this year and we're designing an experimental nose cone that's going to be put on the rocket for next year's competition. We do wind tunnel testing for the rest of the team and when this isn't possible we supplement it with CFD analysis. 